is CBS 12 News. Welcome back. Women suffering from hair loss and baldness now have another option for regrowing their hair, a device just approved by the FDA, showing some pretty amazing results. And it was created by a company right here in our area. It may look a little strange, but Lake Worth resident Sharon Tockett says this device is a lifesaver after she suffered for years with thinning hair and bald spots. I'm in real estate, so it's very important to me to look good. And when you're losing your hair, your hair's thin and, you know, you have to spend extra time in the morning trying to cover up your baldness. Sharon got involved in a hair loss clinical trial in West Palm Beach. Turns out it was for a Boca Raton company called Lexington International, which developed the HairMax laser comb. And, of course, I was a little skeptical, but, uh, you know, within a month, I started seeing my hair growing. Over 93% of the people in the clinical studies actually grew hair. HairMax got FDA approval to treat male pattern baldness several years ago, but has just gotten the go-ahead from the FDA to treat women in the same situation. The laser comb works by stimulating the hair follicle and encouraging new growth. It also increases blood flow to the scalp. You actually use the device at home. It's a low-level laser, so there's no risk of burning. In fact, Sharon says you don't feel a thing. It's like a comb or a brush, and you just run it through your hair, and um, 15 minutes, you're done. I did it three times a week, like 11 to 15 minutes, and had results. No adverse side effects were reported, but keep in mind you have to continue using the device in order to see results. That's fine with Sharon. She says it's worth it. To see how much it's grown in, it was, um, it was pretty amazing. Now, the HairMax laser comb retails for $295 and is not covered by insurance, but Lexington officials say the device lasts more than 10 years. Santa Claus. Exactly. <laughs> Santa, Claus. Santa Claus. Not for my wife, the, the male version. <laughs> well, you can use it on a man, too. It's for both. Yeah, actually, you were saying they, they developed this for men a couple yeah, years ago. Yeah, well, it was developed, and they got it approved by the FDA for men several years ago, and then it was just approved for women, too. I don't know why. First the boys, then the girls. Exactly. Yeah. That's how it always is. Yeah. All right, Johnny, so what